Once upon a time, in the beautiful land of Pan, there was a female mythic story about dragons, wizard, and giant frog. Oh, please, oh, please call, call me too. I'll, I'll be, be the, the storyteller. Thank you. Some people believe this is a true story, while others see it as a mythical tale. Long, long ago, a beautiful lady and young man fell in love with each other and stayed together in this magical land. However, they were not real human beings, but powerful wizard and dragon lady. They pretended to be human using their magical power. Several months later, the wizard left the dragon lady alone in the forest, because he needed to go to a holy place to complete the final stage of his powerful wizard's predicts. Shortly after the wizard left, the dragon lady realized she was pregnant. A few months later, she laid two eggs beside of the Danlin River and sadly returned to her dragoness, never to return. One day, a Saint Hamid found the two eggs while searching for food in the forest. With his powerful eyes, he designed that one egg would hatch into a dragon and the other into a human. So he took the human egg to his tent and left the dragon egg. On a sunny day, a small baby girl emerged from the hermit's egg. Name So Na Wei. The hermit decided that she shouldn't stay with him in a single tent because the baby was a girl. Thus, he entrusted the care of Sonawe to a couple from the village. Years later, Sonawe became the queen of King Kayatanui due to her beauty and glory. However, her happiness and beauty was marred by envy from other queens in the palace. After becoming a pregnant, Sona will give birth to a baby boy. However, during the bathing period, the jealousy queen replaces the baby with a dog and threw the infant into the river by placing it inside a big pot. When the king inquired about the new baby, the queen lied, asserting that Sonawe had given birth to a dog. The king was shocked. Despite Sonawe's attempts to explain, the king stayed ashamed and anger, finally ordered her to be sent back to her homeland. On her way back, Sonawe succumbed to mental pain and became a green spirit after death. Continue from her sand in the pot. The pot floated along the Danlin River, reaching Papu Mountain, where a fisherman couple found that pot. Then they decided to adopt that infant and left the pot as it was. Coincidentally, a powerful frog made this vacant pot as its home after consuming potent medicine. So the frog is not an ordinary frog. He has a power. Meanwhile, Sona Wei, not a green spirit, saw her son's whereabouts. She enlisted the half of his brother dragon to search along the Danwei River. One day, the dragon discovered a large boat with mud beside the river and seen the giant frog inside the boat, thinking it had eaten his nephew. An angry pursuit ensued, but the frog, possessing unusual powers, managed to evade the dragon. 
However, the dragon cast the frog and swallow it finally. But the frog didn't die and stay inside of the dragon's stomach and give serious pain to dragon with his power. Eventually, the dragon vomited the frog back and the frog revealed the baby's location. To this day, the place where the frog was vomited out by the dragon is called frog vomit, meaning pa'an in Myanmar language. Continuing the tale of Sona Wisan, several years later, he also became a king. During his reign, citizens implored him to address the menace possessed by a dragon which endangering the people along the Talon River. In response, he promises the citizen that he would eliminate this threat. However, Green Spirit Son and Wei, his mother, intervened, pleading with him not to kill his uncle the dragon. She wanted that killing his uncle and coming into contact with his uncle Black or him would result in his own transformation into a dragon for eternity. Despite Sonawi's warnings, he proceeded to kill the dragon, his uncle, and soon after that, he too won a transformation, becoming a dragon forever. In conclusion, the wizard returned to this play, then using his powerful eyes to observe the sorrowful tape of his generation turning into dragons and green spirits. To alleviate the calamity of his relative, he resolved to embark on a journey to India, retrieve Bodhar's relics and construct this Shri Yamyabagoda at a location that would be known as Pa'av in the future. Now I'm arriving at this historic pagoda called Shri Yamyo, where the wizard bit in the past. So this is the story. I crafted the entire storyline from Pa'an Tom's oral history. Hope you enjoy and gain knowledge from this video related to Shri Yamyo pagoda. Okay. Whatever you believe it or not, this oral is still popular in Myanmar. Some people are still believing this is a true story. So let's go around and see to the environment of this play. I will show you the entire view of this pagoda. ตาเลี้ยงมวยนี่เนาะตาชีนี่อ่ะมวยนั่นนี่ล้ําดิเออพี่จ้างเวลคั่นเนาะดูแลกูหิ่งจิ้งเปียวบาเนาะตาเบีย
Bye-bye. <laughs>